What do you call that cream? Uh, wow. You know what it is? The cream for the mosquito bites to stop the itching. Uh, hydrocortisone. I want to get some hydrocortisone cream. <laughs> Are you looking to fight in Costa Rica? Maybe some place. The perfect beach, actually, is what I'm looking for. Perfect beaches? There's a jillion perfect beaches. I know. Here. I know. One that I can afford. Okay. So. Panama, realistically, you're retired. Yeah. Yeah. You qualify for their pensionado program. Right. You're much better off there. I know. Financially. 20 to 25 percent off of goods and services. Up to 50. Up to 50. It depends on what it is. They go anywhere from 15% to 50. I think the 50s off of any sporting events or anything like that. You get concerts, you get 50% off. Right. Depends on how programs, green cards. You go to the head of the line. You know, stand in lines. And really? Yeah, really? it's like going to Disneyland and having that, that express that pass. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and when you get older, you're young enough yet, but you get my age. You do not want to stand in line because yeah. your joints start hurting and giving out on you. And the whole, mm, you know, yeah. feel like cattle. You know? Yeah. <laughs> but you go to the head of the line, they really respect the, what they call the seniors. In Panama to qualify, you need $1,000 from Social Security, government, anything. Right. $1,000 documented, and you're good. Get that. And then it costs you about three grand to get the paperwork, to get the residency program, right. to get the card. Because without that card, you don't get the discounts. Right. So. The man has researched it. But that's the reason I'm looking at it. It's kind of like financially, it's a lot more stable there. This is like being in the 50s. Right. Panama is like the 80s, right. as far as infrastructure and everything, compared to where we come from. Right. That's how I relate to it. What was this? Costa Rica is like when I was a kid. Yeah. 10, 12 years old, and it's kind of like, that's where they're at today. And it's kind of like, my first trip here, I'm going, I don't believe this. It's like being a kid all over again, except I'm much older. <laughs> I know, it is. Uh, that's all I like about it. People are friendly. I haven't felt Oh, it's super friendly. I Not so much in Panama. Bad at all. Panama, the people are more standoffish and cool. Are they? Yeah, they're not here. Everybody here is friendly. Everybody talks to us at anything. Right. See, you know, we saw people in the streets across the yeah, oh, how you doing? Oh, I got plenty of time. They give you great directions. Don't go here, go there, do this, do that. Right. And be right on. You know, you go from... That's what I tell people. I've never been anywhere else in the world that does treat you like that. Right. They go out of their way to help you. Everybody else is coming. Maybe I'll give you the time of the day, maybe I won't. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, I wish you well in your journey. Thank you right, for sir. all your advice. All right, yeah, I'm all the trouble. Hey, we're gonna, we're gonna do it. <laughs> we'll catch up with you. Look, you know, look at this road. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you just look at the road. Okay, this is Costa Rican car. Rental cars are Toyotas. They are Daihatsuns. Uh, then they have, uh, obviously, the. A lot of 4x4, Mitsubishi and so on, and Hyundai. It's more like don't worry it's for the rest of your life, you know. Like a lot of people, they move here and retire because it's really worth it over there. All right, guys, just follow me, please. They used to take out wood out of this road. Okay, the lumber. Mahogany. Lumber. Uh, no, no, mahogany is Asian. Antique is Asian. Uh -huh. They're not native to these areas. No. Uh -huh. Basically, um, here you have a lot of avocado family, a lot of figs, a lot of bean family. Uh -huh. um, there's a family of eucalyptus. There's many, uh -huh. many different families. Uh -huh. And palms, don't forget. Of Came course, but palms are not trees. No, not trees. Yeah. So what is the wood on all these furnitures we are seeing here? But I will tell it you is, something. It looks like mahogany. For every, for every half a hectare, uh -huh. every six months, there is seven tons of leaf litter coming into the ground. What I'm telling you is there's a layer of good soil in the tropics about this thick. Mm -hmm. 
underneath that you have red soil with mm -hmm. tons of iron content. Right. Any wood that grows under these woods is going to absorb that wow. color. Uh, that wow. color, okay. that orange color. That's, yeah. that's it. And so it dyes the wood and it gives it these purples that make right. it really, yeah. really yeah. Beautiful. beautiful. But this is so soil condition. Oh. Now, trees here don't have rings that tell you how old the tree is right. because there is no winter. So having no winter, nothing creates a new layer on the trees. Mm -hmm. Trees here, their roots go to the sides yeah. like this instead of like this. This is why if you have a tree that's 400 years old, it's going to have a plate on it. For you guys, a 400 years old is nothing. You have two, three, four, six, seven thousand years old trees. Why? Because the root system supports them. In this case, the root system does not support the trees. For each one that falls down, there's 30 to 40 that shoot up and start to grow because of the light gap that was left. So it's basically a forest like the ocean. It reorganizes itself constantly. Yeah. But the, the wood where the furnitures are made of, it's really good. It doesn't bend, it is straight. Mita, the thing is, the thing is, this sun, this condition, plus this wind and tropical storms, the woods have to be way stronger. For uh -huh. us, a bad wood is almost like a semi-hard wood for you guys. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hey, face monkeys, uh, back in the 50s, there was the man who used to do the hot dogs in New York, and the monkey would deliver. Everybody speaks Spanish. If you go to Guatemala, one town speaks a different dialect than the other town. I find that very respectable. There are 60 dialects, but iPhone does not make those 60 dialects, nor does Samsung. You're gonna stay back. Yeah. Guys, this will be a Jurassic Park picture. Come and take a look. ¿Qué me dice, compadre? Maya, aquí echando palante rasta. Venga, mamita. Just, you'll see it very, very clearly up front. Put it down. Hi, oh. yeah, That's a great picture. That's a great picture. Okay, okay. I try not to get too close because this truck. You can sail around. He's checking us out. What's, what's the common denominator? The bottom spine is not attached. And so what happens is basically they can stand up and walk if they need to, okay? The slots? The slots, yes. If you see the positions that they are in, they will not, they will not, a dog cannot go in that, in that position because it would be tremendously painful for the dog. Outside the pool. Okay, are you ready to go? I had two yeah, iguanas. Across from the little bathhouse, there's a bunch of uh, concrete uh, tiles. And so I walked over there and I was looking over there. You know, some people were looking at a sloth in a tree. Anyway, and I'm looking, and here's this freaking iguana. He's like three feet from me, he's like four foot long. And he's looking at me, and then I look over to his left, and there's another one about two feet long. They're just standing there on top of this, this hot tile, looking at me like, what's he going to do? Manage. How do, how do those guys put the stones of 10, of 10 tons up in the air? Those guys from the, from, uh, stone, the Stone Age. You remember? He's How did they do that? Him. How you get rocks, stones in the center of Portugal, in the, in uh, Alentejo, uh, things about uh, 15, 10 meters high, 7 meters high, enormous blocks of, cement, of, of, of stone, and right in the air like this. Well, th there are a lot of films of guys, especially Americans, that um, have proved that they can uh, put up big stones through a stream of woods, right? Right. Stream of woods, and they and they they they, 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 uh, they lift it up.
come into a little place and then we go to another little place. But is it down there or is it over here? here and they use the spears as a symbol of either cultural importance or spiritual importance to their buildings. It's beautiful. Look at that vegetation right there. It's gorgeous. It's time to head back. Come on, buddy. 